Hello and welcome to this demonstration of Sony Soloist's capabilities with basic video. On the screen in front of you I've already opened up Sony Soloist and now I'm going to open up a video file. Click on folder and here I've got an AVI file. Open that and you can see that it's opened up the video screen here um, to its actual size. If I now click on play you can see that that's playing at full size. If I just pause that by clicking on the stop button, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to resize the video and make it a bit smaller. I can pick up the any side of the video screen to do that. And I'm going to move a Sony recorder over there and just arrange some of the assets on the, the screen. Let's click on play that. I'm also going to open up the text editor here and I'm going to move that over on this part of the screen as well. I'll just put that just there. Okay, let's go through some basic functionality with the video. Um, here we've got a simple video which is heads and shoulders video with uh, the narrator talking through 10 questions. So if I now click on play. Hi, and welcome to today's practice questions. In a moment I will ask you some questions and you will either write or type the answers. You may pause this video and restart it by pressing the space bar whilst the Sony Soloist is open. Give it your best. Okay, so I've just paused the video there and I'm actually going to click on the bookmark. I'm going to click on number one. And now I'm going to carry on and play the video. What is your name? And I've paused it again and I click on bookmark two. How old are you? Number three. What school do you go to? Number four. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Number five. Let's have a few more bookmarks. Number six. Which is your favorite subject? Here I'm using the space bar to stop and start playing the video. Do you enjoy any sports? What's the last book that you read? What is your most memorable holiday? Okay, so I've gone through the video and I've watched my heads and shoulders with my 10 questions and I've put bookmarks in as I've progressed. I can now, by simply clicking on a bookmark, move around that video file as quickly as I can with an audio file. Over here on the text editor, this is just a suggested task, I'm going to put in a couple of um, numbers down through here. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now in the actual video there, it was uh, suggesting, the heads and shoulders were suggesting that um, the person listen to the video, then stop and type their answer, which is exactly what we'll do. So let's go right back to the beginning of the video, to question one. Okay, quite simple. And I've submitted my answer. Question number two. How old are you? I think we'll just uh, leave a question mark on that one. And then question number three. What school do you go to? Ah, well, there's only got to be one school, hasn't there? A connected school in this example case. And number four. And we'll put another question mark in there. And number five. What is your favourite hobby? Oh, sports. 
and so on and so forth. Now this has just been a basic introduction to the video use there. Some other elements for the teacher here. If I click right hand mouse button on Sony and then click on file I can save the bookmarks. As long as I save this file which is called BMK at the end for bookmarks in the same folder as the video file if you look at the top of the screen there where my pointer is the um, actual video is called vlog simple questions dot avi and my bookmark is vlog simple questions dot bmk as long as they're in the same folder together then those bookmarks can be saved with the file and when the file the video file is opened the bookmarks will already be in place okay that concludes today's basic introduction to using video with Sony Soloist. Thank you very much for watching.